साधु 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 गुड इवनिंग डियर दामा फ्रेंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपर्ट बुद्ध धाम एंड संग ब्रीन वे फार्म ऑल टुगेदर एंड से साधु थ्री टाइम प्लीज साधु 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 नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत संबुदस् नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम संबुदस् नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम संबुदस् बुद्ध शरण गच्छा दम शरण गच्छा संघ शरण गच्छा दुतियाम पी बुद्ध शरण गच्छा दुतियाम पी दम शरण गच्छा दुतियाम पी संघ शरण गच्छा तीयम पी बुद्ध शरण गच्छा तीयम पी दम शरण गच्छा तीयम पी संघ शरण गच्छा I go to the Buddha for refuge. I go to the Dhamma for refuge. I go to the Sangha for refuge. A second time I go to the Buddha for refuge. A second time I go to the Dhamma for refuge. A second time I go to the Sangha for refuge. A third time I go to the Buddha for refuge. A third time I go to the Dhamma for refuge. A third time I go to the Sangha for refuge. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Okay, hello everybody. So, um, as you know, um, every Monday at Indian Buddhist Temple, we are um, practicing the Karaniya Metta Sutta, the discourse, the Buddha's discourse on loving kindness. Now, <clears throat> this discourse is a very, very famous discourse, known, well known to to um, uh, the practitioners of uh, Theravada Buddhism throughout the world. But of course, we are um, uh, we are taping this, so this is a virtual situation, so new people may be joining in. Uh, remember that um, anything that I say or any guidance I might give that is well known to most people, uh, new people might be uh, tuning in. So this is a chance for you to share your own uh, good fortune and your own uh, knowledge of the Karniya Metta Sutta with people that may not uh, know it very well. Uh, the Karaniya Metta Sutta is called the uh, Discourse on Loving Kindness. Um, it's important to remember that um, the, that um, this is not just a general 
sort of wish for uh, the uh, goodwill toward uh, people and toward uh, the earth itself. We are putting our beliefs into practice. This is, this is a practice. Uh, it is not always easy. It's not as if it's a, a noun. It's not as if it's something that you can learn to do and now you move on. <clears throat> it, it's a practice that's um, easier sometimes and maybe um, a little more difficult at other times. Um, so, you know, these are really uh, troubling times we're in right now with uh, the coronavirus. So there's so much suffering around the world. It's so easy uh, to get bogged down and to feel a little powerless. It's, uh, it's easy to feel as though things are out of control and you have no power at all uh, over your own uh, destiny or your own happiness. But this is not true at all. Um, we, um, we can choose not to participate. We can choose not to participate in un unhappiness. We can choose not to participate in all the horrible things of the world, uh, the, uh, the suffering of the world, racism, all kinds of things like this. And we can take a little power back into our lives by, uh, by practicing the Karaniya Metta Sutta. So, um, please remember that we can wish for peace in the world all we want. Uh, and of course, most people uh, do wish for peace in the world. But wishing for peace <clears throat> uh, doesn't really have any power behind it. What we're doing right now is we're taking back a little bit of that power and uh, we are turning the noun peace into a verb. We are tur turning peace into a verb and we are practicing peace. We are, we are uh, generating goodwill in the world and we are uh, doing uh, what we can to uh, diminish the suffering, the great suffering in the world. And that is one of the beautiful things about Indiana Buddhist Temple is that you will you will find peace when you uh, find Indiana Buddhist temple. And you will find guidance by uh, our monks. And also we have a <clears throat> lay community. Uh, we have a meditation uh, every Monday night. Uh, we have a, an outdoors meditation on uh, Wednesday evenings. Uh, so if you are new to, um, if you are visiting us for the first time, uh, please um, come to the temple at any time. We are always open, uh, just with things being the way they are right now, just please, you know, make sure that whether you're vaccinated or not, to show respect to the monks and uh, to the people around you, always make sure that you wear your masks. My good friend Michelle, who's sitting with me, uh, we are both vaccinated, but we love our monks. And so we are trying to demonstrate uh, we are trying to uh, show respect uh, f to our monks by uh, always wearing a mask when you're inside the temple. Uh, so for newcomers, uh, welcome and uh, visit the temple anytime. Uh, we, are, we have six acres, it's a beautiful site. We hope in the future to start uh, meditation retreats. Um, much depends on how <laughs> how and when uh, the uh, world uh, starts to get back to normal. So welcome everybody. So tonight we're doing the Karaniya Metta Sutta. It's the uh, Buddha's discourse on loving kindness. And um, the way that it's generally practiced is that <clears throat> you begin by developing the seed, by cultivating the seed of loving kindness in your own heart. So you're, you are, it's as if you were planting a seed in your heart and you are freely giving it away in ever expanding circles. First you radiate um, loving kindness to yourself um, and then you move on to, um, to demonstrate loving kindness to people that are close to you, that you know well, that you are friends with. Uh, that's, you know, generally pretty easy, but the further right you go, the more difficult it becomes and it and demonstrates why it is, after all, a practice. 
because the next step is to radiate loving kindness to uh, people that uh, maybe you don't even know very well, just uh, the people down the block, the people at the grocery that you see occasionally, uh, people that, um, that you might not normally uh, think about wishing <laughs> loving kindness to. The, um, <clears throat> the next thing to do is to, it is really difficult, and believe me, it's not any easier for me than it would be for anybody else. It is to radiate loving kindness to people that really you might have a problem with. Uh, the coworker you don't generally care for, the politician who is on the you know, wrong side. Um, so uh, this demonstrates why it is a practice af after all. And in the end, you, uh, you wrap it up by uh, demonstrating loving kindness to the entire world, and in fact, to the earth itself. Because of course, without the earth itself, we would not be here, and we owe a debt of gratitude to our beautiful world. So um, tonight, uh, we will take, we will go through these um, steps just one at a time. Uh, we won't spend very long on it, just maybe just a few minutes, five minutes at the most, on each uh, circle. Uh, and we will wrap it up. And at the end, um, <clears throat> I have a short story which I'd like to read, uh, which demonstrates the, uh, the, uh, how uh, the Buddha himself demonstrated loving kindness in his own lifetime. And uh, then maybe we can have some messages uh, about upcoming events, etc. <clears throat> at the end. So let's begin by just maybe uh, taking a few easy breaths, nothing too deep, nothing too uh, stressful. Just sit and take a few relaxing breaths for a few minutes, and then we'll begin. So we have taken a few breaths, and we have um, a few relaxing breaths, and we will begin the Karaniya Metta Sutta by developing a, 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 the seed of loving kindness toward ourselves. Now, this might seem a little um, it might seem a little odd because Buddhism is often about uh, dim uh, diminishing the self. Um, <clears throat> But as you will find, it, you, you are developing the seed of loving kindness, and then you are freely giving this uh, gift away. You are giving a bit of yourself away. Um, you would think that um, extending loving kindness toward yourself might be the easiest step, but sometimes that's not true, is it? Uh, we all have things about ourselves that we would like to change, or we would like to better. So sometimes um, we're a little rougher on ourselves than we are on other people. So it's really terribly important to, to, uh, to, to find what love and, and peace is. 
and kindness. We have to learn to show ourselves kindness sometimes. So again, this is a practice. And we will, um, we will uh, think about this for a few minutes. We will develop a loving kindness toward ourselves first for just a few minutes. Okay, so we have begun to develop the uh, seed of, uh, we have planted the, the seed of loving kindness in our hearts. And we have begun to water that seed. We've begun to uh, cultivate that seed. And we, it, that seed is now growing. <clears throat> but we, um, we don't want to keep that to ourselves. It's, it's now the intention to freely give away that, uh, that love and uh, that loving kindness that we are demonstrating toward ourselves. We are freely giving that away uh, to other people. It's a little counterintuitive, isn't it? You would think that um, when you have something and you begin to give it away, somehow you should have less of that thing. But that is not true, is it? When you develop a loving kindness, 
you will find that the more you give away, it's not the case that you have less. In fact, you have, you have more. Um, it's, um, uh, the, the um, loving kindness is one of the four um, uh, immeasurables, they're called. There are three others, uh, but this is metta. And it's called immeasurable because it, it is just that. It's something that you can't really uh, take a measure of. It, it grows exponentially. So we, have, um, we are growing that seed of loving kindness and we are now sharing it with other people. <clears throat> and the first uh, group that we want to share with is, uh, is generally pretty easy. We share it with our, our good friends. I'm here with my good friend Michelle. Um, it's pretty easy to show uh, Michelle loving kindness <laughs> because she's a wonderful person. Uh, so uh, it's, it's easy to share your, your love and compassion uh, toward this first circle. And of course that includes uh, the monks and our temple. So we will, n we will take this gift that <clears throat> we are developing and we will now share it with the next circle. Uh, our friends, our family members that we love, our monks, um, uh, our temple, things that are, are generally pretty easy to uh, share a gift with. So we will do this for just a few minutes.
Okay, so we have planted the seed of loving kindness in our hearts. We have begun to give it away to our friends and family. Um, and we are finding that as we are giving this gift away, we, for some reason we don't have any less of it. We, we seem to have more of it. It is growing exponentially. Uh, so the very next uh, step is to now share this seed of loving kindness with people that you feel maybe neutral toward. You go to the bank and there's that teller that you see occasionally. Uh, you go to the grocery store or the gas station you always go to, but you don't really know who this person is and you feel completely neutral about them. So why should I care about them? Why should, why should I uh, share anything with them? Well, once again, we, um, we live in such troubled times that it's so easy, as I said before, to get bogged down and to turn on the news and just hear endless uh, bad news all the time. And we can feel a little powerless, can't we? So that is, uh, so by sharing our loving kindness with people that maybe we don't even know, we are taking, we are starting to take control of our lives a little bit and we are starting to take control of our own happiness, which is what the Buddha uh, intends. So we'll take just a few minutes um, to share loving kindness uh, to, toward people that we would generally uh, feel neutral toward. So we'll take a few minutes for this. So now we have, um, we have uh, started, uh, we have planted that seed of loving kindness in our, our hearts. We have shared it with our friends and uh, uh, family members. Uh, we have now shared it with people that we generally would feel pretty neutral toward, but now comes the hard one. Now, this is why it's a practice. 
uh, the next uh, step generally is to demonstrate loving kindness toward people that you really might uh, not feel very well <laughs> disposed toward. Uh, there might be that, that group of people that for some reason um, you feel threatened by. They look different from you. They speak a different language and you, you feel threatened by this. Uh, it might uh, be um, the, the politician that you don't agree with or maybe, there, maybe there's a religion that, that you don't generally agree with. So this is, this is difficult. This is why it is called a, this is why it is a practice. But again, we can get all bogged down in um, unhappiness and feeling stressed out. And when this happens, it's easy for other people to control us and take control of us. So we are demonstrating that we are taking back a little power uh, and we are developing uh, love and compassion and uh, happiness uh, uh, and not participating in the evils of the world. And the, it's, uh, the evils of the world are, are countless, aren't they? But we don't need to, uh, to uh, f feel as though we need to take part in that. So we'll take a few minutes and we will, to the, as best we can, try to um, radiate loving kindness toward people that we, there might be some friction with. Uh, so we'll take a few minutes and do this and we'll wrap up in a few minutes. And Okay, so lastly, um, we, will, uh, we will take this loving kindness and we will share it with the whole world. It's not meant just for human beings. Uh, uh, the Buddha's uh, loving kindness, uh, he extended loving kindness to animals, to the, the earth itself. Uh, when we are finished, I'm going to read a beautiful story in the Buddhist tradition uh, to show how uh, the Buddha uh, demonstrated this toward all beings. So we can find multiple opportunities in our lives uh, to practice loving kindness. We can, uh, we can do it in uh, small ways. We can recycle. We can, um, we can think twice before we squash that spider <laughs> in our house. We can, there are multiple opportunities to demonstrate loving kindness toward all beings, which is uh, what the Buddha intended. So we will wrap up with that and we'll be finished in a few minutes. And
Okay, so I, uh, we can wrap up now. Uh, again, for people who uh, know the Karaniya Metta Sutta well, this is, uh, this is well known to you. But if you are visiting us for the first time, remember you can practice this on your own. You can uh, focus on one aspect or another uh, um, uh, of this practice. You can do it for a short time. You can do it for a, uh, a little bit longer. Uh, it's it's uh, completely up to you. So again, the purpose of what we are doing is we are, turn, we are turning peace in, from a noun into a verb. We are putting, uh, putting our beliefs into practice, and we are practicing loving kindness. So I'll wrap up very quickly with a, uh, with a short, uh, beautiful story from the Buddhist tradition. Uh, it's a uh, well-known known story to uh, the Theravada uh, Buddhist uh, community. It's about the, um, an elephant named Nalagiri. Uh, in the time of the Buddha, uh, elephants were often used for all kinds of, you know, not, uh, of purposes, including uh, they were sometimes used as executioners by kings and by, uh, by uh, people in power. So the story is that uh, Nalagiri uh, was taken and, uh, um, and trained to do uh, evil deeds. And um, the story goes that uh, at one time the Buddha was walking toward with his uh, disciples, was walking toward a certain village somewhere, and people knew that Nalagiri was in the neighborhood. In fact, people knew that uh, the elephant Nalagiri was actually being sent to kill the Buddha. And people advise the Buddha, oh, please, no, don't, don't go this way because Nalagiri is in the neighborhood. You don't want to go that way. And the Buddha said, no, we, we can't participate in this evil. So I will read the short story of Nalagiri to you. <clears throat> Ambo, Nalagiri, come, my friend. The elephant felt something brush against him like a cool wind. <clears throat> the Buddha radiated the oceanic power of loving kindness toward Nalagiri. Nalagiri, whose whole life began to unfold be, uh, before him, his days in the forest as a young calf, playing in the rivers and lakes, wandering with his mother and aunt through groves of salt trees, his capture by the king's elephant keepers, the training he underwent to become a tusker and slayer of men, his loneliness in the elephant stables, his fear and pain, like two waves meeting. The force of the Buddha's loving kindness collided with the moving mass of the raging elephant. Nalagiri felt it like a wave breaking against his brow and his perception cleared. He slowed his charge to a walk. Before him, he saw the shimmering form of a monk in saffron robes. He heard the monk address him, Ambo, Nalagiri, come my friend. Nalagiri stepped forward, bowed his head to the elephant, <clears throat> and knelt before him on the ground. The Buddha reached forward, put his hand on the elephant's brow, and said, You are safe now, my friend. The people cried, It is a miracle, and threw garlands of flowers to the elephant. Your new name, Nalagiri, is Danapalako, guardian of the treasure. And the treasure, my friend, is your own loving heart. Okay, so thank you everybody. That will wrap up our uh, loving kindness tonight. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, the rains retreat just began uh, the other day, and this is a three month period um, which culminates in um, Katina. Katina will be at the Indiana Buddhist Temple on the evening of Friday, um, October 29th, and with a, we will have an all-night chant. The next day, October 30th, will be our formal katina uh, ceremony. Um, during this three-month time, it's important to remember that the monks are generally, generally remain <clears throat> at the temple. So this is an opportunity for us to help take care of our monks, to help take care of the temple. Uh, there are multiple opportunities for um, volunteer activities at Indiana Buddhist Temple. So um, with that, I think I'll hand it back to Bhante. So thank you, everybody.
प्लीज ब्रिन योर फॉर्म ऑल टूगेदर एंड से साधु थ्री टाइम साधु 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 नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लाइन काइंडर्स मेडिटेशन लाइन काइंडर्स चांट इन नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत संबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत संबुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत संबुद्ध करणीय मंत्रकुशल पदंगच शोजूच सुजूच स्वचोच स मुदुअनतिमा सन्तोषकोच सुबरोच अंपकिंचोच सलौकुंते सन्तींद्रिओच निपकोच अंपगब्बोकुशुअनुगिधो न चुंधंग सचरे किंचन विपरे उपवधेयुन सुखिनो वाके मिनो हंतु सभ्ये सन्ता सुखिदंता ये के चिपान भूत तसावतावरावा दीगावाये महंता मध्यमस कानुकूला दिठावायेविठा ये चूरे वसंति अविदूरे भूता संभवे शिवा सभ्ये सन्ता सुखिता न परो पर निकुभेत ज्ञातिमेत कंथचिन्खे व्यारोसना पटिग संस दुख मिंचे मातायतायुषाकुंथ मनुरखे भूते सोमान संभावेपरिमाण मेत संभलोकस्मान संभावेपरिमाण उदोचतिरियाचंगस पंत तिठंग चर निसीनो वसयानो वायावत संसगत मिंदो एक सतीठे भ्रम मेत विहार मो दिठिंच अनुपगमशील वादस्ेन संपन्नो कामे सुविनय गेधंग नई जातु गंभ से यंग पुनरेती संभीति विभजन तो संभ रोगो विनाश्य तो माते भवंतरा सुखी धीगायु को भव तो संभ मंगल रंखंतु संभ देवता संभ बुद्धानुभान सदा सुंथि भवंतु ते बु संभ मंगल रंखंतु संभ देवता संभ दुभान सदा सुंथि भवंतु ते संभ मंगल रंखंतु संभ देवता संभ संघानुभान सदा सुंथि भवंतु ते 
นังคันเทยังเขบุตานังปาปังกาณิวารนันปาริณทัสสานุบาเวเนหันตุเตสังปัญเทวอิดังมีญาตินันหุตุสุขิตาหุนตุญาเตโยอิดังมีญาตินันหุตุสุขิตาหุนตุญาเตโยอิดังมีญาตินันหุตุสุขิตาหุนตุญาเตโยสัธุสัธุสัธุสัทธาบุตรสัมพันธ์การุณิกวาสนาวันต์ปิงหัดนีอินเดียนาบาวด์วิหารสถานีวิหารอดิปติเอวากีเมลอสแองเจลิสนูเรลังคารามวิหารสถานีวิหารอดิปติไอติฮัสิกาโคเตราชมาวิหารสถานีวิหารอดิการีอธิการอนิยะทัลังกามเดวานันต์นายกมาอิมพานันวหันเซวิสินสิดุขันลาบันอุตุมโลกศาสนิกเสวาวทาวดูรัตต์สิดะคิริมสันดาอเมริกันญาติกะดอสเตอร์เบรนเมตุมาวิสินเอตุมาสัตว์อิตาอมตุมวัตินาเดวัสตานิยัตพัสุกีเดหาตเวนดินะวิหารสถานีเอดีอเปลินโอนามหาตมิยัตเทวากีเมตุสตร์สิสิรมหาตมานันรานสิงห์โอนามหาตมิยะพระธานะครเกณฑ์เอตุวิสินเมวิหารสถานีเอตสังกัสตุกัตเอเมเดวัสตานีปูจาครานุเทดุนะทินอินเดียนาบาวด์วิหารสถานีกรุตระมหาสังกัดนี่ตัดทิวากีมวิหารสถานีดายกปิงมัดเหมดินาตมัดทิวากีมสมัสต์โลกวาสีแสมดินาตมัดทิตามัดมสัตุตัตเตโลกวาสีบาวด์แสมสิลดินาตมัดทิตามัดมสัตุตัตเตขารนาวักโอเบเหมดินาไม่ใช่อินเดียนาบาวด์วิหารสถานีเมตตามัดมาลังคารวัตถุสังกัดนี่ขันที่ยดุนะอิทินับยบัตตาสิหิปัตกรณ์วะเอมเดวัสตานี่ตัดสังวารดเนี่ยครับลูกทุรุบุตรจานันวหันเซวิสินเดชนาคลวดาลมีนิรมลบุตรธรรมีทว่าชิราตคาลยักโลเคภาวะทินนัตเอวากีมเอุทุมบุตรธรรมีนสวยลาบันนัตเออเปเดวานันต์นายกมาอิมพานันวหันเซสามะเกคาหุลาเอขัตย์ตุอิตามัตมุลินสิดเดคาลเฮมดินาตมมีบุตรธรรมตุลินสวยลาบันนัตขัตย์ตุสิดเดคารานัตโอ้บัตรอาราธนาคันลับนวะยังกินวิเศษเช่นเสียพัฒน์ครั้งนั้นทุกวันนี้มีมาสวิสิหัตระเวนเดินนะวัสปิงขามาลาวอารามบักครั้งลับนวะเอทินปุราตุมมาสยักมุลลิหิมวิหารสถานีดีโอ้บัตรดัมพันปูจาครั้งนี้ว่ากันอาทิตย์สิกิลัมปัสบุตรปูจาวันพวัตตะลาเอขัติยุทธสิทธิ์ครั้งนั้นทุกวันขับติบนะวิหารสถานเด็กตาครั้งละเอพิงขามมาลาดายขัตเกินขัติยุทธสิทธิ์ครั้งนั้นทัตตาพิโอบัตรเสียพัฒน์ครั้งนั้นกามันมีสิทธุครั้งนั้นที่เหตุนู้นเสียลูกปุณณ์ธรรมเมนุลาสีรวาดีบาลีสักตีขันนกตะเกณฑ์อาปัตย์เดวัสตานีปูจาครั้งนั้นที่เหตุนู้นภาริตยาครั้งนั้นที่เหตุนู้นดอสตร์เบรนมหัตมานันตัติวากีมมีอุทุมปุณณ์ขัติยุทธสิทธุครั้งนั้นอาปัตย์เดวานันต์นายกมาอิมพานันวหันเซตัดมีอุทุมโลกศาสนิกเสวาวันสิทธุครีมสันดาห์นวหันเซตนิดุกนิโรกีสัมปัตติเชื่อเจวเนดิกาสิริสัมปัตสัลเสวาปิงมัดเหมดินาตมัดข้าอีกสุเอติวมานสิกสุเอติวดีวิเกวานัตมีอุตุมปุณณิสักตินเหตุวิวาวาสนาวิวาคิลเหมดินามสาดุคิลปาร์ตนาครันอบิวาเดนสิลิสนิชังวันธาปชัยโนชันธาโรดัมมาวัดดันติอายุอันโนสุขังบาลังอายุราโรเกสัมปันติสัจสัมปันติเมเวเชอาตุนิบาณสัมปันติมีนาเตสามิจเจตุสาธุสาธุสาธุ